Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's go to Shape Layers, hold this icon and create Rendered Rectangle Tool. And let's create one shape layer like this. And Clusation Tool, let's change name, Element Background. And for Move to Anchor Point Center, hold Control, double click, pan behind icon. And go to align. You can enable align here. And click this icon and this icon for move to center to shape layer. And let's create new solid layer for background. Add name background. Click OK. Move to behind of layer. Go to effects presets. Search effect fill. And use for background solid layer. And open color. Choose color white. Click OK. So let's lock layer. Select this element and open inside rectangle 1, rectangle path 1 and change redness for a little bit to smooth ok and this time go to FX presses, search FX gradient ramp and choose gradient ramp use for element layer and first color let's use blue and second color let's again use blue like this light style click ok and choose this point let's move to left and this point move to right and for fix this problem let's go to ramp scatter right here 200 so in this time go to shape layers hold the second choose rectangle tool and let's create one rectangle like this and classification tool and let's select rectangle 1, Control D for duplicate and move to right change size ok, select rectangle 1 and change size like this and add name reflection let's press R, open rotation and change rotation like this and go to anchor point, move to anchor point center, Clusation tool and move to up like this let's change scale a little bit like this for better reflection and select reflection go to track mat if you not see this part you can click toggle switch modes and go to track mat let's link to track element shape layer and select element background shape layer let's enable and select reflection go to fill and choose color white let's choose blue and move right a little bit and press T, open opacity, change opacity like this ok, that's good so let's back to project and choose coin animation drag and drop into conversation if you want to see how to create this animation I will add link on the description below and select coin, press S and change scale and put to left like this so, in this time, let's go to text and write here total earning and color, let's go to color cube, choose color white click OK, Clusation tool and change font size Move like this and go to text, let's click and don't write any text, click session tool so we have empty text layer go to fs presses search effect number and choose numbers use for empty text and number font style let's search kulvetka and center ok and click ok so go to fill color choose white and size And let's move to like this and go to place let's write here 0 in this time let's create value keyframe and press U go to 7 seconds and write here 100 and let's see ok choose work area and right click trim come to work area and go to again text let's click here and write dollar icon Clusation tool and change font size 
and put like this. Okay, let's preview animation. Nice, and go to back, let's close keyframe settings and create new null object. Hold control, double click pen behind the icon for move to anchor point center, classification tool, and choose all of them layers. Link to null object, select null and move to up. And select empty text, we can move to up here. And let's create shadow layer, right click, new and solid layer, add name shadow. Click OK. Go to shape layers, hold this icon, choose ellipse tool. And let's create ellipse tool like this, classification tool. And open mass 1, change feature. And press T, change opacity. Go to FX presses, search effect fill and use fill for shadow layer and go to color eyedropper choose this color blue and choose shadow let's move right here also move the anchor point to down and center okay and finally select this reflection press p and let's create new parts in keyframe and let's move to left and go to here let's Move to right and select keyframes, make it easy. Go to graph editor, make it smooth graph. Back to keyframes, select last keyframe, move to right, and two keyframes, move to right here. Okay, move to right more. Okay, that's good.